gang, today we're going to do CCR's Run Through the Jungle. A great riff from uh, John Fogarty on that one. It's basically a one riff song, but oh, what a riff it is. Very cool. We'll go through this note for note. Going to be short and sweet. Hey, as always, if you like this, click the thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe for one of these every week. We'll see you in just a second. All right, gang, let's go through this note for note. Uh, first things first, you can download the tab from the link in the description. Uh, it's going to make your life a little bit easier, maybe. Uh, second thing, uh, when you're playing this, you want to have some fun. So get, we'll get the basic patterns. We'll do that note for note. But uh, I can guarantee Fogarty didn't play it the same all the time. Yeah, the recipe is there. But basically, you want to be able to be comfortable changing around a bit. Okay? So we've got that going. Uh, okay, most important. So let's go through this. Most importantly, before we get going, is that you want to tune your guitar to a drop D. So that sixth string needs to go to a D. So just match your fourth string, right? Really important because we're going to be using a lot of open notes and you want that drone going. Uh, we're going to be pulling off to a lot. There's a D minor riff. So. Um, so we're going to be using a lot of uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs. Okay, uh, so we've got it tuned to a D. So let's go through this. Uh, let me play the first line pretty slowly. Um, I'll try and get it right here. Open. Okay, well, let's just try it. Okay, we're going to start with that drone on the low D string. Then we're going to play a dyad on the first two strings. Okay, we're going to play second string first, third string second. So the key on that one, of course, is that pull off on the third string from the first. Okay, let me play this one more time slowly, and I think we will be able to move on. Careful with that bend on the fourth string. You don't want to bend it too much. You don't want to have nothing like that. It's just very subtle. All right, here's the second line. All right, so that line, very similar. You don't have to hit that bottom bass note. I'm just doing it to give us the timing. Um, you can. I think it sounds okay if you do, but uh, you don't have to. All right? So the second one would be... So it's basically the same, but a, a couple of times we're playing this dyad right here on the second and two strings. And then we're playing on the second and two strings, but with our third finger, right, or with a, the third fret on the second, right? And then we're playing the first two strings, third on the second, first on the first. So that's just a D minor chord, and we're playing different parts of it, right? We're playing the first time we play the first two strings, and then the second two strings. And then this little turnaround. All right, and that's basically it. That's the basic pattern. Let's take it slowly through the whole two, okay? Now there's lots of variations you can play. You can play just the first, the third string in the first. That sounds good. You can play different rhythms. Um, like I've got one written out in the tab. Like this, you can play. All right, something like that. All works. Okay, gang. Hope you enjoyed this one. Kept it simple. Uh, we'll see you on down the road.